Wow, are you seeing this? Whoa, jeez, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what is that? We're also all flight test crew, here today with our good friends from Clackamas Fire District number one. We're gonna use a FLIR VIEW PRO thermal imager to observe a burn to learn. In short, we're gonna watch a bunch of guys burn a house down. <laughs> While the firefighters were preparing themselves to face the flames, Tekkenstein was establishing our base of operations for the day. You know, this is the first time we've used our new Venom chargers in the field, and you know what? They're really nice. They're just quick, easy to set them up, basically one button and you're charging. So, let's take one of our new drone batteries, and it has a detachable plug so you don't get that torn off in flight. You just attach it. Don't lose this. You'll need it for charging. And just into the balance. And battery, charge, and you're off and going. That's it. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're uh, building some of our final sets for the uh, burn alone we're providing today. What we're doing here is we're using Class A fuels with pallets and hay to be able to uh, simulate a regular house fire. Most of the time we'd also have couches and carpet and everything else, but for, for our safety reasons, we're going to use uh, pallets and hay, so we're going to use as much fuel as we can to get a good full fuel fire inside this, uh, inside this room and uh, have a good day and have some fire tactics. Thanks for coming. All right, so one thing we know from having been out with firefighters before is when they're fighting a structure fire, sometimes they'll cut a, a hole in the roof of the structure in order to vent excess heat out of it. Now they've decided it's too dangerous to put anybody on top of this structure while it's burning, but to give them that same capability, they've cut a hole up there and they've got a rope they can pull just to open it up as they're going. So we will be curious to see what that looks like. And I'm curious to see if we can see heat escaping if they use it on the thermal imaging camera some video shooting and uh, recording and all that. We have a drone in the air. Oh. Don't, don't attack yeah. it, okay? <laughs> don't uh -oh. shoot the drone. It, it, would be the drone. it would be tempting to hose the drone, but okay. don't. Our primary aircraft for the day was the 3D printed Vortex Hexacopter from Atlanta Hobby. So this right here is a stock DJI gimbal. We have a, a FLIR VIEW Pro, so it can record on board. Of course, I've got our GoPro and the gimbal here, and our little low light camera there in case things go wrong, of course, and things won't. But we can switch back and forth between all three cameras in flight, so very, very handy. We can position ourselves, we can see what the FLIR sees, we can change modes, it's really cool, actually. The exercise began with fires being lit one at a time inside different rooms. That way, multiple teams of firefighters would get the opportunity to study how fire moves and grows. Outside, we launched the drone to get an aerial perspective on their progress. Okay, so Tekkenstein's got the bird up, and I'm serving as the spotter, and it's really interesting. They're uh, working that back bedroom in the house, and when we change over to the FLIR, which I can see on this monitor here, it is very clear that that's the hot point inside the house. We've got Tekkenstein here under the goggles flying FPV. One thing we definitely got to stay aware of is there are a lot of people here on the fire ground. It's a relatively small space, so we need to take care that we're not overflying any of them. So I'm looking at the uh, thermal image from the view up above. It's the Iron Bow color palette, and it's really impressive. You can not only see where the fire is inside very clearly, but you can also see the individual roof joists. It's pretty impressive the quality it's delivering. Wow, are you seeing this? Whoa, jeez, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna hold here for a minute, okay? Okay, yeah, hang on. Wow, yeah, we're, we're all of a sudden, we've just seen this huge plume of uh, heat come off the back of the building. I'm gonna ask a firefighter and see if I can figure out what that was exactly. Yeah, apparently at that instant, the crew that was inside punched out the window with a stream from their fire hose and let a bunch of trapped heat out. All right, so that roof hatch we talked about earlier, they've popped it, well, they've got a fire inside. And on the thermal imaging camera, we can very clearly see that it's emitting heat into the environment. What do you think? Absolutely, especially in white hot. Looks really good, actually. With the exercise complete, the firefighters allowed the flames to spread throughout the building. Okay, so this is the free burn phase when they're basically gonna destroy the structure outright. And it looks like they wanted to hurry it along a little bit, so they brought in this backhoe to do some additional damage. 
Afterward, we caught up with our friends from FLIR who are doing some testing on the ground. My name is Doug Berry, I'm uh, with FLIR Systems. Well, we're here, we like to get the input from the firefighters to see how they like the products, how it's performing for them, so that we can improve on the products, get their input, and uh, make further revisions down the road, make sure we're on target. Now that's a fire. Hope you're watching, see you next time. All right, fly safe. Okay. Oh. <laughs> There was a house here. Like, a, and I, yeah, I was in the garage a few minutes ago.